about the second week, I make sure, you know, talk about dragging and dropping, highlighting stuff. Um, and this, uh, this funny thing about, I don't know, it, it seems to make sense to people when I say like, you know, a human can move a cup of coffee, but a computer has to copy it first before they can move anything. So I just kind of explain that to them, like it's, it's, it could do a lot of things and, you know, it's, it's made to be, you know, some simpler with windows and stuff that you could see and drag around, move around, but just know that the computer actually thinks about this a little bit differently than the rest of us. Um, number pad, caps lock, all that stuff uh, becomes important when they start getting really into typing and, and going for the shift key and hitting the control instead. What I like about that is that I learned about shortcuts that you can use with the control key as they're learning. So if they have like a web inspector up, then I'm like, oh, that was, you know, control, whatever it is, you know. I don't think it's control, control I, but, you know, control H, I teach them about history, you know, control W will close something, but as they're learning typing they're getting into these mistakes themselves and then I can explain what that was um, and in the third week we get into Microsoft Word so after they know how to log in and log out and the difference between something that's on the computer as opposed to on the internet um, I try to tell them what the what Microsoft Word is all about, and um, there are some programs that are, that I that I'll use that does the uh, you know teaching with the toolbar and the, and the ribbon, and and sometimes you know extra things like what's the difference between 2010 and 2007 version of Word. But um, I try to get into the basic. You put typing in there. You could print out a letter. You know, do a send it to a teacher, uh, you know, like excusable absences type of thing. Um, and let's see, resumes and a bunch of other things, cutting and pasting to email. Um, and other thing I, I like to put in there that I think hopefully is, is different and Thanks to some of the stuff I've been seeing around, you know, into these, uh, see, seeing around Chicago with the Open Gov and, and, and the Smart Chicago is, uh, I'll teach, I'll make sure they know how to go to a transit, go to CTA Tracker, and look up like a bus. Yeah. So, you know, get into maps a bit too because there's a map right next to the CTA Tracker, but I'll make sure they know drop down one, drop down two, drop down three, and, you know, by then they know what scrolling means and how you scroll within a certain scope. Definitely. And and yeah, I'll get into like uh, non-profit, like uh, open office type of things and Libra Office, so they can use if 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 you know they need to find something to write on on a computer. Oh. Um, and the other thing that a, a computer instructor did before I got here is, um, uh, it's no longer working here, uh, Jaime Cornejo, he had everyone um, reading pickthebrain.com. So it's just like inspirational articles. And I, I thought it was, well, that's way too simple. What are we, we going to start teaching? during? We could start teaching all kinds of other things in that time. But they're inspirational articles. And... I found that when I did that too, where we just took a, a breather for 20 minutes or to like read through this stuff, I noticed if they actually knew how to scroll something, if when they have a, if they get to a page and there's a big blue block because it's an advertisement or, or, or you know the header image of something, do they know that they're actually on the page they want? They just need to scroll. Um, the difference between an ad box and why something tries to tell you because there's two little letters at the top says AD that it's something is an ad and taken out like Wilbert's face. Yeah.